Uh, Tom Reed here down in uh, Marietta, Ohio. And I just happened to be checking out of my hotel room, getting ready to hit the road, and I ran into this lady. Your name, ma'am? Katie. Katie. Katie, I take these videos and I upload them to YouTube. You okay with that? I'm fine with that. All right. And Katie, how old are you? I'll be 55 in two weeks. Okay, and where are you from? Originally Jersey. Okay, and how'd you end up here? A job. And did you get laid off? Uh, no, we got booted because we worked at the Red Roof and new owners took over and they watched us for six months and said we didn't need you anymore. Oh, now you say us, so I'm assuming... It's my, me and my husband. Okay. And he just had a stroke, well, he had a stroke almost a year ago. Oh, and how's he doing? Uh, not so good. He can't remember things. So. Okay. And where do you guys live? In a van. Oh, you do? Yep. And that's been going on since you were laid off? Yep. Okay. Now, either one of you ever had substance abuse issues? No. Stayed away from it? Oh, uh, there's no reason for it. You're just good old-fashioned homeless? Yes. Okay. And, uh, Don't do drugs. <laughs> okay. And was he hospitalized for a while? Uh, 72 hours. Okay. So what does he do with himself throughout the day when you're out here trying to hustle He watches me. He does? Yeah. Okay, good. And um, do you keep in touch with family? Not so much. Okay. No. And what type jobs have you had throughout your life? I was a zookeeper. Where? In Jersey. Okay. I worked with animals. I have a degree in animal science. Do you? Yes, I do. And what kind of, did you work with practically everything out there? Or were you specialized in something? Uh, I worked with everything we had in our zoo, which is North and South American animals. Oh, wow, okay. And then I worked on a horse farm. I worked at an SPCA, so. Wow. Now, the reality of getting a job out here nowadays. Very hard if you don't have an address. It is. You can't get a job without an address. That big a deal? Yeah. Okay. Because they mail your first check. Oh, is that what happened? And if you don't have an address, you can't... Yeah. What made you stay around this place after you were laid off? You just liked it? No yeah, place else? Yeah, I liked it. We you liked it. You yeah. do like it? Yeah. I imagine it gets a little warm down here in the summertime, doesn't it? Yeah. Pretty... A couple 90 degree days. Wow. Where'd you get that degree from? Delaware Valley College in Pennsylvania. Is that right, yep. huh? Well, My husband also has a degree in psychology, but does he, he can't work anymore. He's disabled now. Oh, wow. So is he getting Social Security out? No, we're fighting Social Security, and since he can't remember, it's hard to... Yeah. Yeah. There, uh, I want to ask you, what's your favorite childhood memory? Spending time with my mom. Okay. Favorite movie? Ooh. The Bucket List. Favorite book? Anything that Mary Higgin Clark writes. Now, you get a chance to read much while you're out here or not? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Now, There's a free, you can do a book exchange here. Oh, okay. So you can leave a book, take a book. Yeah, and how are the people you cross paths with mainly? Some very nice, some not so nice. Yeah, have you had pretty much good experiences? Some very nice and some okay. not All so right. nice. Yeah, anything memorable keeps keeps in your mind that like one person stuck out more than another? Uh, a friend of ours helps us out. Oh, he does? She does, yes. She does, huh? Her and her husband, okay, they help good. us out. Now, is this an area where there's a lot of homeless? There's... I know of three people. No. Maybe... 10 people and then they come and go some of them come and go um but okay but over in west virginia there's a lot there are huh? Yeah. okay now you're a religious woman and all i pray you do i do pray okay yes. you seem like you got a pretty good attitude kind of a glass half full person yep always have been you, you think ha you have to. any children yes and where are they Pennsylvania. Okay. You get a chance to keep in touch with them or not really? Kind of. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, is there, I, I asked you before I started recording that uh, if you had any contact information, no place somebody could send you a card or an email or anything? No, I don't. Wow. Well, what you need to get, are you familiar with Cash App? I've heard of it. Yeah, you need to get that and that way you can have it and people can just send to it and you can just use it like a credit card. Yeah, I've heard of that. And Maybe I... if you get one sent to... 
Somebody you know? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Are you on good terms with Red Roof Inn or not really? No. Okay, good. No. That's where I stayed, by the way. Did you? Yeah. I wouldn't stay there. I'm sorry. I know <laughs> too much of the goings yeah. on. <laughs> I'm sure I wouldn't stay anywhere if I knew what was going on. Uh, that is underwater. Oh, okay. Underneath. The was bottom. that a pool in the back? At yeah, one that time? was a pool. Was it ever open when you were there? No. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's been closed a while. Oh, it's been closed for about 20 years. Oh, has it really? Yeah. Oh, wow. But underneath the building, gotcha. it's not structurally certain parts. Oh, okay. My he husband was maintenance. Oh, he was? <laughs> yes. Now, did he ever get a chance to use his psychology degree at all? No, he worked for McKesson Drugs. Well, oh, he... now it's McKesson Drugs. It wasn't when he worked for it. Oh, okay. Have you got any questions for me? No, nope, I'm good. Well, it was my pleasure talking to you. Well, I could, good best, pleasure talking to you. Best of luck to you. Hopefully it'll change. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. All right.